It was really calming. You get out here and you drop all problems. So from school, from your home life, from working, anything, you just get out on the line and you shoot and it was like therapy almost. Isabella Berge, a senior at Canby High School, is now the top high school female trap shooter in the country. Cool. It's a story three years in the making after Canby went against the norm and started a trap team. Her coach, Chuck McClarity, took on the task of convincing school officials, who told him, It's never going to happen because it involved uh, shotguns. We had to prove to him how safe the sport was and comparing like trap shooting to say like a football game. When we're out trap shooting, we don't have ambulances parked here. So we're not hauling people away with broken legs and concussions. And then just showing the history of the sport that there's been over 50 million shots fired at targets with zero accidents. Isabella joined the team the first year. She was comfortable with guns, but hadn't shot trap until her dad took her to the Canby Rod and Gun Club. She picked it up fast, and the thing about Isabella is, is she, she does put in the work. I get home from work, and we jump in the truck and drive down here, and, and uh, we listen to music on the way to get down together and get down here, and, and uh, it doesn't matter if it's snowing, raining, whatever. She comes out, and she shoots and, and gets in her practice. And that practice became perfection at this year's national championship in Michigan. First day for individuals, she ran a perfect 100 out of 100. That means she hit 100 shots in a row. She was focused. Without a single miss. Brings back emotions now. Everybody in the crowd was uh, teared up and like, come on, she can do it. And you'd hear them back there like, that's 90, 91, 92. And they counted all the way up. And everybody just bursted into cheering and yelling when she broke that 100th target. About 1,700 students competed. Isabella was one of only seven to hit a perfect 100, and the only girl. Neat to see thousands of people just all like talking about, hey, there's a girl down there that just shot 100 straight, and she beat all the guys. Something I'll cherish forever as a coach. Isabella hopes more girls will get involved in trap shooting. I've seen amazing female shooters that can outshoot boys any day. But she knows it can be daunting. I'd get some comments here and there, and it would really just lower me, but I think that overall helped me. It made me determined to go out and do better, to show them who's boss. <laughs> the day before competition, she faced her own adversity. While all the students were practicing, Isabella says an organizer deemed her sleeveless t-shirt and cutoff shorts inappropriate and threatened to disqualify her. There were other kids wearing way worse things than me. I don't know what the problem was, especially saying the next day there was uh, boys that were wearing tank tops. I think he was just trying to, wanted to be able to say something, so. Her mom and I talked to her that night and said, just go out and win this thing, and, and then you'll have a platform to stand on. Well, she took it to heart. Um, I bought scrubs. I wore t-shirts and scrubs the whole time. And in a t-shirt and scrubs, she proved herself.